rise at 12 hours early. Oh, I was in the middle of a terrific dream. I was in a jail made out of pizza, and I was just about to eat my way to freedom. Someone please get Mr. Drummond. We are on the air now in just 45 seconds, okay? Well, he's not here right now. He's out jogging. He's what? Rod, you want to pull the plug on this thing? Oh, no, 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 don't! Do please! Anybody, anybody. I think I hear him jogging up the street now. <laughs> Why not interview uh, Mr. Drummond's kids for, until he gets here? Put them on TV. What you talking about, Ellie? <laughs> I just may have to do that because they are leading into us right now. We better get set. Okay, kids, come on, come on, sit down right here on the end of the couch. Come on, come on. I'll go for dad. All right, settle down now, settle down. Okay, get closer to guys. You're on. Good morning, New York. This is Roger Murdoch reporting live from the home of Mr. Philip Drummond, independent candidate for city council. Mr. Drummond will be with us in just a few moments. Meanwhile, I'm here with Mr. Drummond's uh, very unusual family. Would you kids like to just introduce yourselves? Hi, my name's Kimberly. My name is Willis. My name is Arnold. And uh, if any kids are up watching us early, we're not a cartoon. <laughs> and uh, your name, ma'am? Adelaide Brubaker, the housekeeper. I'm 71 years old, but that didn't keep Mr. Drummond from hiring me because Mr. Drummond is a man who cares about the senior citizens. If you think the foregoing was a political announcement, you bet your pantyhose it was. I, uh, I get the impression from looking around here that um, Mr. Drummond must be a fairly wealthy man. Is that true? Oh, geez. Well, don't hold it against him because he's got money. What's wrong with money? I love money. I'd like to have a blanket made out of it. <laughs> Mr. Drummond worked very hard for every cent he's got. No, he didn't. He inherited it. <laughs> Only some of it, Arnold. He got most of it because he worked very hard. And you know, he's really rather smart. Yep, he is smart, all right. You know, if our dad can run a big corporation like he does, he ought to know how to run a crummy city like New York. <laughs> trying to keep Adam away, not run out of town on a rail. Oh, oh, <laughs> hi. Oh. I didn't mean all of it was crummy. Just the crummy part. <laughs> oh, hi, gang. Boy, I had to run. What the hell's going on? Dad, you just said hell on TV. <laughs> so did I. They goofed at the station, Mr. Drummond. They didn't tell me they meant 7 a.m. Oh, no. Uh, Mr. Drummond, we are just about out of time. Excuse me, ma'am. Would you like to make a statement of some kind? Yes, I don't need much time. I just want to say that if I'm... Uh, thank elected... you. <laughs> uh, we are out of time. This is Roger Murdoch reporting live from Park Avenue. Sorry about that. They were going to cut us off yelling at my ear. You know how that is. Uh, that's a wrap, you guys. You want to get everything together and get out of here because i got another assignment. Let's Excuse get moving. Yeah. Thanks very much for your cooperation, everybody. And uh, good luck on the election. Thank you. Ciao. Ciao. <laughs> well, there goes my TV coverage. What a fiasco. The election's only a few days away, and I blew it. No, you oh, didn't. Yeah, you no, didn't blow it. Twenty-two percent of the districts reporting in concession speeches are already being heard on every side. One contest that's still very much up in the air is the race for city councilman in the forty-third district, and uh, those final results are coming in right now. Well, I I hope I didn't make a fool of myself and embarrass all of you. No, you didn't. Oh, no, you didn't. Oh, no. Shh, listen, let's hear what he has. And as the polls predicted, the winner is the incumbent, Leland Tracy. Aww. I demand a recount. <laughs> but what the polls did not predict was the surprise showing of Maverick candidate Philip Drummond. Obviously, an important, refreshing new voice has entered the political scene, and I'm sure will be heard from again. Philip Drummond, I think, is definitely a winner. Hey, how about that? I didn't make a fool of myself after all. Well, you still should have won. Yeah, you would have, but the other guy got more votes. <laughs> you think you'll ever run again, Dad? Who knows? Maybe. Well, you've got three sure votes right here. Oh, Arnold, we're not old enough to vote yet. Sure we are if you add up all our ages. We're old enough to vote, have a beer, and see a dirty movie. 